So script 5a, uh, we'll now explore feature collections. So far, we have worked with image collections. We have Sentinel-2 image collection has all the Sentinel-2 images. There are a bunch of image collections, climate data, weather data, Earth observation data. Earth Engine also comes with a whole bunch of vector data. And they are mostly in the forms of boundaries. We have hydrological boundaries, administrative boundaries that you can use to uh, import them in your script and uh, use them directly. Let's go and search for this data set called God. This is a data set by UNFAO. Uh, they have data sets for admin zero, which is country boundaries, admin one, which is states or provinces, and then you have admin two, which are the counties or districts. Let's get this uh, data, FAO call. So this is a 500 meter simplified data. Uh, the call data is very complex. So use a simplified version unless you really need very, very detailed boundaries. Uh, you can see the data set description looks very similar. <coughs> but instead of the bands, we have the table schema. So these are the attribute table of each polygon that we have. Uh, you can see this called the name of the admin region and a bunch of other fields. Uh, this would be a shapefile that you upload and it turns into a feature collection. Let's import it and see how it looks. When you import an image collection, the default variable name is image collection. When you import a feature collection, the default variable name is table. So you can see we have a new variable called table. Let me just change this to admin2. Uh, you can apply filters. You can work with this data very similar to image collections. Let's just visualize this. I'm going to add this to the map. So map.add layer, admin2. And run the script. And I'm going to zoom out. This one, similar to image collection, it contains all admin2 regions of the entire world. So you can see it's got all the polygons representing different administrative two regions of the world. You can zoom into your area of interest and say, uh, what is the admin name, uh, region name for my particular region? So you can see I want to get the admin, uh, select this polygon. I can use the inspector, click on this, expand this, look at the properties. And you can see these are the different properties of this polygon. It says the admin zero is India, admin one is Karnataka, and admin two is Bangalore urban. So this defines, this properties define this polygon. And we can now extract this and just use that polygon as our geometry. Uh, we can work with filters very similar way that we've done so far. So let's apply a filter. To select a polygon. Uh, want to select uh, this particular polygon. I inspected it. I know that I want to select this name. So I want this polygon where the admin2 name is this. Okay. Let's say we create a new variable. We'll say admin2.filter. Now, can somebody help me uh, find the filter and uh, help me with the code? What filter would I apply to select this? Yeah, we have a, a bunch of correct answers. Uh, EE filters, EQ. So E filter EQ that takes two parameters, the name of the property and the value that you want to match. So here we can say the, the name of the property that we want to use is ATM2 name and the property, uh, the value of the property that we want to match is this. Okay. So now we have this feature collection that we filtered and it should have just one polygon. We can print and check if the filtered work. So let me just print. And you can see that we now have a feature collection with just one feature that we had uh, queried for. And uh, this looks fine. So let's just add it to the map. So I'm gonna add this filter collection to the map. We can comment out the previous one, but we don't use this. And you can see now we have one polygon for the admin region that we're working with. And now we can use this as a geometry instead of drawing or defining the geometry by a point. Uh, let's see some other examples of this. I'm going to go back and uh, let's comment this out. Let's open up the whole region. Let's say you want to work with all the admin two regions in a particular state. 
So let's go to the US and I want to select, I'm doing some analysis for every county of California. So now I want to select all the counties in California and use their geometries. So go to inspector and click on one of them. So we click here and you can see this particular county, uh, its name is uh, Mendocino County, the admin one is California and the admin one is uh, United States of America. So I want to now say, I want to select all counties in California. How do we update this code? Yeah, again. So we can update our code to say this one, uh, select all polygons where admin one name is California. And let's run this. We also need to comment this out so we don't see that on the map. And now you can see we have selected all the counties of a particular state. Okay. Uh, so same concepts of filter work. When you are adding to the map, remember the map.add layer function has many different parameters. So we have added the object here. We can define the visualization parameters as a dictionary and give it a name. Uh, for feature collection, uh, you can give a color. Uh, you can say, I want to display this in bright color. And we can just say, you know, uh, give a name of the layer. And when we run this, you will see that the results that we get are now displayed in red color and the layer name has also been changed. One more question often comes up. What if I want to select uh, counties from multiple states or I want to select multiple regions? How do we do that? Yeah, so let me frame my question this way. Uh, let's select all counties from California and the neighboring state of Nevada. So I want counties from here as well as here. How do we update the filter? You can look under E dot uh, filter and see if you can find a filter that will work for our problem. Yes, uh, the correct answer is this filter called E filter in list. So if you see here, uh, filter on metadata contained in a list. Uh, the way you use this is we say e filter in list admin one name and instead of giving a single string we give a list of strings so we say give me match everything that is in the list and now when we run it you should see counties from both the states that we did this is also useful where you say i have two regions and i want to analyze them together or create composites uh, from them together so you can use these filters and again the point here is there are hundreds of filters, when you have a particular need, uh, do look in the documentation when you, know, you now have the skills to find and use the filter for your uh, script here. And we are ready for the exercise. 